Today is the day. It's time to actually talk to Senpai. Counterpoint. No. Counterpoint to the counterpoint. Yes. Because you can't have a healthy relationship if you go from zero to 100. You need Senpai to fall in love with you before they realize everything you've done and probably will do. That way, they can accept you bit by bit and you can have your happy ending. Please, you're not exactly lovable, now are you? They're your soulmate. They'll accept you. Assuming psychopaths are their type? Sure. The subtle approach. Could work. It seems like an awful big gamble, though. So much wasted time. So risky if you do have to kidnap them in the end and become the obvious suspect. That assumes they even want to talk to someone like you when they have so many distractions vying for their attention. What if you kill everyone around them so that you're the only person they can go to for comfort? Well, what if you befriend everyone around them and support them in achieving their dreams and confess your secret crush so that they can support you in achieving your dream? And everyone can be happy. Including Senpai, because everyone close to you dying is not good for anyone's mental health. Fine. I can compromise. You don't have to kill everyone. Just the competition. That little blonde is definitely eyeing Senpai. There's no need to kill anyone, okay? I know that Senpai and Naomi are childhood friends, and that is a little intimidating. But it's just a schoolgirl crush, and it has nothing on the passion that you have. Her feelings can be redirected. How about you find her someone else and set them up so that she doesn't even think about Senpai? And then, a few years from now, you'll get an invite to the wedding, and Senpai will be your date. You'll both be in the wedding party, obviously, and you'll get a little shining moment where you can say that you're the one who introduced the happy couple. They're teenagers. Even if you do manage to manipulate them into a relationship, I wouldn't call it manipulation. They'll probably break up in two weeks, and then you'll be right back to square one. Pick the permanent solution. Imagine how mom would feel if you murder someone and go to prison. You know she doesn't want you to follow in her footsteps like that. And dad, what would dad think? Dad is gone. He might come back. That's never going to happen, because Dad doesn't love you. I think we all understand that he's a very damaged man, but possibly one day. Never. But... Angel? No. You're supposed to be the good one, right? It's not good to hold on to false hope. You need to accept the reality that if you really want Dad back, you're going to have to hunt him down and keep him in chains. And even then, no matter how hard he pretends, he will never, ever be the father you need. Oh, wow, that's surprisingly insightful. I do see your point about letting go of the past, and... Your best bet is to put him out of his misery before he can be used against you later. Ah, there it is. Oh, oh no. no. Senpai. Senpai. Smile at them. Avoid eye contact. Too late, they saw you. Say something. Say something now. Uh, say hi. Oh, God, they said hi back to you. They're looking at you. I'm blinking. Devil, help. You really want me to take the reins on this one? They're going to think we're an airhead that is literally worse than death. All right. Just remember that you asked for this. Sweetheart, ask them if their first period is free, like you don't already know. Say so you're free, too. You want to talk to them, but it's private. Can you go up to the roof? What are you doing? What I always do. I'm handling things. All this waiting and watching and scheming is exhausting. Go on then, little one. Take what's yours. Confess. Good. Now kiss them. Did, Did they, they just, just shove, shove you, you away? away? Apologize. Now, you were moving too fast. You're so sorry. 
What? They like someone else. The blonde. Okay, you can kill her. You'll just have to make it quick. It's not her fault she ruined everything. No. If you kill her now, she'll die on a pedestal. There will be endless comparisons and lifelong pining. Can't compete with a dead girl. So, you ruin her. Destroy her social status. Frame her for a few crimes. Make them understand that she isn't so perfect. That would probably be kinder than murder. Forgive me for not seeing that sooner. I'm a little flustered and not at my best. I... So nice talking. talking. Why? Why would they say something like that to you? Senpai knows that you like them, and they don't like you back, which means that they hold the power now. Of course they're using it to hurt you. That's how it always works. They're supposed to be different. But they aren't. They're supposed to love you. But they don't. They don't even know the truth about you, and they're already running. All the things you've done for them. All the dreams you've let wither and die so that you could be with them. They will never see it. They will never feel the same way. You deserve so much better. You need a clean slate with someone who's worthy of your love. Not this person. Go on, then. Shut Just something off the roof. roof. I'm not sure if Angel and Devil is fully accurate to this script, but honestly, if you had a functioning Angel, we would not be in this situation.